So, hey, Buck, I want to kind of turn this over to you. A um, couple things on there, but I want to make sure that uh, we got a anime section uh, in here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, here we go. And hopefully the pictures are acting right uh, now. I know earlier we were having some issues. If they start acting up again, we'll just, I'll pull it back up. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, what do you think about this? And Because this is actually one I, I, I wanted to pick up, but... You know, there are two dragons that come from uh, the Dragon Balls. Well, I guess if you're on Earth or Namek. So. Mm -hmm. so. The, the Nam Namekian dragon is Porunga. Yeah. And this is Shenron. Uh, I wouldn't buy this. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I don't know. This, I don't like the paint. Okay. Uh, Those seam lines, though. The seam lines are there. They're not the main concern. You know, the paint and if the paint was more vibrant, like uh, they use more vibrant color. Like Shenron isn't too bad, but even his shading, that dark shading, I'm not crazy about that. The sculpt is decent. It's cool for like Shenron and Goku. The clouds don't look convincing. They look kind of bad, actually. They look bad, I'll say. Did you see they're coming out with a new uh, 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 new show, new Dragon Ball? The new movie? Yeah. Where they turn into kids? Yeah, it was a show or, or a movie or something they were talking about. Yeah, th that, it's a movie. Um, Carl said Parunga is greater than Shenron. Well, there's no more Namek, so Parunga can suck these. Oh, wow. Yeah. Namek is no more. That's uh... a... <laughs> Don't they? <laughs> oh, man. Let me see here. And uh, here's it as it's actually uh, lit up. And I wasn't really impressed with this light up. You know, I was kind of like, that, I don't know. It just doesn't look that impressive in the dark to me. Either that or this is just a bad photo. But I think, I think it's a bad photo. I, uh, I, I the, don't. The I, colors I don't, getting washed out by, you know, it's the bad photo. Yeah. But also it's the fact that it's the location of the light up. It's not really gonna light up the entire statue, right? It's just the the golden light is from where he's coming out. So the Dragon Balls, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. You probably just need other lighting to accentuate the piece. Yeah, Slifer says the new movie, DBZ one? movie looks terrible. Slifer has bad taste. The animation looks amazing, but it looks like the plot is not he's not wrong. The plot looks like it's gonna be stupid, but I'm actually excited for it because it it looks beautiful. The visuals. So tell me about this picture here, along with the next one. Uh, the next one I think is for their bases, right? <laughs> or am I wrong on that? Yeah, these are the bases. So yeah, yeah, you got like a bunch of they did they, they, they've been doing like the namic saga recently and yeah. so everything here is from the namic namic saga it's from white hole and when you display their statues you don't have to like uh so they usually do it in a way where you don't have to put the statue on the base that comes with the statue so you can just make them stand if you want some of them depending on the version you get right and seems yeah. like all of these can stand they can stand freely without the base that's that's a pretty cool like uh feature yeah it definitely is man um now just to ask are they one of the few studios who has done freezes color Benchman? correctly or oh, it's color yeah because a lot of people are saying prime one's done it perfectly the purple the purple for his head yeah these yeah i think a lot of studios get it right but like okay these guys do it good as well I, I i i love this is like it's like one of my favorite like studios for making dragon ball z pieces prime one is nice don't get me wrong prime one made the perfect goku but white hole is killing it man if you i think the quality of the white hole pieces they're better than the prime one like at yeah. least the late when I got the white hole base form Goku and final form Frieza, I was really shocked. And this is my favorite statue in my collection still. But mm. in terms okay. of quality and like the 
the paint jobs, the packaging, the yeah, pa everything is heads and shoulders above like what Prime One has been putting out. Nice man, nice. Well, moving on, actually has something a tad bit more exciting uh, coming from the DBZ world. This oh, just got shit. announced. And Jarhead, believe it or not, this is actually quarter scale dial, man. So it's crazy because like most dials are like six scale or fifth scale, but this is two one fourths. Uh, kind of like your because uh, you got the uh Omega Red and Wolverine, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we don't we, I'm a, we don't I'm a big fan of dioramas, man. Yeah, dude. I, I honestly wish we would get this more from uh you know licensed companies as well, man. Like, you know, Spider-Man versus Shocker or things like that. But it's like if they do them, it's always smaller, you know, mm -hmm. fifth or six. Because of how much like I feel like, you know, with Marvel, mm -hmm. they know if they do the the companies that have the license, if they do the diorama, they know it's gonna cost stupid amounts. So they have to make it amazing or else it won't sell too well. And generally speaking, I just think Sideshow doesn't sell statues at a certain at, at, at a certain price point currently. So yeah. like they wouldn't they wouldn't do it honestly. Maybe XM would. Maybe I can see XM doing like a diorama to characters. I mean, Prime One but does it, it, but, but they but always... even even XM though they have done technically a diorama with the with the DC line with Batman. Mm -hmm. You know, surrounded by his rogues. I mean, that's a diorama. Oh um, yeah, yeah. X Men, uh, the Sentinel, and mm -hmm. the diorama. Yeah, um, yeah. They did uh, Justice League versus Dark Side, but they're all smaller scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even even XM has done the smaller scale. Indeed. There's very few um, companies that do quarter scale like customs. I know there's quite a few custom companies that have done dioramas that are actual quarter scale of both characters. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, um, like Sideshow and all them, they don't. Mm -hmm. I think the only company I can think of that does like large dioramas is Prime One. Prime One, yeah, one thirds. I wouldn't mind a Marvel one for a dial versus of priced around fifteen hundred. Yeah, that's that. That's 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 the thing, Carl. You want it to be priced around fifteen hundred. That's like I want to. I want a bullseye versus Daredevil. Ooh, I or, I've been asking for a bullseye. I'd or, be in or, for or it. Three Electra Daredevil versus bullseye. Ooh, mm, that's hey, too much. Drop a comment what y'all want in the chat, man. I want to know what dials do y'all want, man. Jar I, Jar Jarhead doesn't even like collecting. He just wants the companies to keep challenging him on like space. That's that's what he likes. It is not he's not in it to collect uh pieces. He want he wants the impossible task of displaying impossible stats. Is, is it really impossible though, book? I don't know. Okay, I'm looking at a Wolverine <laughs> versus uh, Omega oh right now. Is it impossible? How, how big is that pause? <laughs> you, you you're you're on a roll tonight. You're on a roll. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. So I'm asking in the chat. I'm about to put up a another uh, another poll, and this is going to be: Would you want a Spider-Man, Batman? Or neither versus Dio. So like Spider Man versus you know one or two characters, Batman versus one or two characters, uh, or what, neither. What I really want two statues, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Spider Man Dio, like how they did the Batman surrounded by his foes. Dude, I would love also, that. Also, a Wolverine surrounded by his enemies. Yeah, I, I would love that, man. Oh, Wolverine, <laughs> yeah. Isn't that too much? Like, like how I don't know, man. What not, you guys? Not, it doesn't have like quarter scale. I'm just saying, like okay. how they did like a six, like a six scale. I mean, that'd be yeah. a big ass statue, regardless. Yeah, that yeah, that's what I'm saying. It'd be very large. I don't know when I hear about those kind of concepts, it makes me stressed out, man. <laughs> it makes me stressed Dude. out. Just like, they're, they're how, the how guys doing uh, Center Search Six versus Spider Man, and they're all quarter yep. scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. that piece. Now that's an impossible task. I want to see that in people's collections. I want to see where they display it. I bet you people against there's gonna be people displaying that on their dining table because it can't fit anywhere else. It's massive, bro. Like I don't like, I don't. I think it'd be bigger than Maestro. Bigger than Maestro, of course, of course, definitely, because it's the 
the base it's, of Sandman scrolling around. Seven quarter scale characters. Yeah. On on like in one statue. It looks good though from 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 the pictures. It looks good. I, I'm not in love with Spidey's pose, but overall it looks good. Yeah. The villains look so really man. good. They should have done yeah. the um how they're doing the iron spider with his arms up like this mm -hmm. and flying up in the air. She's done that pose for him. Yeah. Yeah. What's so, the chat saying? So Mr. the chat Popo? is is saying um give us a one third DBZ diorama. I don't know, one third might be too big, man. Uh Carl is saying I wouldn't mind a Marvel one for dial. Okay, yeah, price. Price around fifteen hundred. Hawk versus Hawkbuster. Okay. Iron Man versus Titanium, versus Titanium man. man. That's what uh... Figure Kong wants. Will Smith versus Chris Rock. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. It's over nine thousand diorama. Yeah, dude, exactly. That's why I didn't go with KD for myself, yeah. man. I heard about that, and I was just like... They don't I, I they just, never get it. Yeah. The but only overall, KD pieces I like are the... Is that, like, the new bust of Gogeta mm -hmm. and Vegito? And then the Vegito versus Super Boo uh, statue. The diorama. That's a quarter-scale diorama. See? I, I, I like this Goku and, and Frieza, though. I think it's pretty cool. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Um... But here's somebody's setup, and I recognize a couple of these pieces from your collection. Uh, I think you have the Krillin, right? No. The Krillin oh, I don't. have is from Sume. Okay. The, this Krillin this guy has is from Cloud Studio. I believe Clouds. I know this guy. It's an Italian guy. Yeah, yeah. He, I think he just put this display up uh, today, actually. Um, mm -hmm. What do you think about that uh, Piccolo? It's is that awesome. The... That's the one I'm going to get after we do our thing pause i don't know what the fuck he's talking about <laughs> i'm sorry jerk it off well, I, I don't i don't i don't want to <laughs> oh uh, 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 uh. oh, 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 oh man is it safe to come back or should i leave <laughs> oh man dude oh oh boy you just made the list oh no <laughs> Oh, dude. Okay, I'm gonna just move along, man. Uh, yeah, I wanted that Piccolo. <laughs> That's all I was trying to say. I I do like this Piccolo. This to me is like the oh, third best Piccolo I've seen. But is this the manga or the anime version? Um, I don't think it matters. I think the only difference might be no, because they sell it as manga or or anime. <laughs> yeah, there's usually like color differences. The only okay. characters I pay attention to the differences for are like uh. Goku and Frieza. Okay. Those are the ones where it's the most obvious. For Krillin, the difference could be like in his eyes. Maybe yeah. uh, it'll be white. Like the part, the eyes are painted white, but like you see in this version, it, there's no white. It's just the lines. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Nice, man. So, yeah, man. Because uh, that's the Piccolo when his. Uh, who cut off his arm? Wasn't it Vegeta? It was Frieza. Raditz. Frieza? Was it Raditz? Raditz. I believe, yeah, that's from the Raditz fight. Because about to do the special being when they first came before before he trained Goku or Gohan, mm -hmm. rather. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I think that might have been the last picture, maybe. Okay, no, this is the last DBZ MRC. one. MRC. I don't yeah. like these. I like the trunks. He's just a head, though. Like. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't care. So the one on the right, right? Is yeah, the, the purple one. Yeah. I the the head is like it's like a holder because the heads are swappable. Oh, swappable. Yeah. As, as that looks weird to me. Yeah, yeah that looks weird, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But moving on, I, I, like I wouldn't display that. <laughs> Just the head sitting there. Nah. Um. So this is some Pokemon stuff that is Ooh. coming. Uh, Gengar. Gengar. Uh, this is the. Gigantamax, I think, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I think that's what this is. Or just, like, the, the entire family that they do sometimes. Like, Hunter, Gengar. I think this is what it is. Um, the ghost types. And then from Pat Studio, this is where they are going to do the Gigantamax with uh, Snorlax and uh, Gengar. So I think that's pretty cool. 
Uh, Pap Studio does some really really cool stuff. Uh, especially if you have, they'll do like the whole, entire electric Pokemon. Uh, mm -hmm. And then they got like Pikachu, Raichu, um, Magnemite, things like that. So that's pretty cool. Are all of those on the left just evolutions of Snorlax? Those two I, on top like... of him, they came after that I kind of stopped watching Pokemon. I don't really know too many of the new mm -hmm. ones, so I'm not, I can't answer that specifically, but they look like they would be like pre evolution. Yeah, it looks like they're just like two. Yeah. Pokemon types there. The one on top of the sleeping Snorlax, and then there the base is a Snorlax as well. Yeah. Yeah. Looks Munchlax. Good though, man. That's what nice guy says. Munchlax? Okay. So maybe that's his name. Appreciate that, nice guy. I had that in MRB trunks was sold out. Hey, Mitchell, you know, man. Special beam cannon. Special beam cannon. Jupiter's cock DBZ setup is pretty good, man. Hey, that's oh, what he's man. known for. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, and the last pictures are of this Mew uh, that they're Ar making. Armor kind of reminds me of the uh, the the Wolverine, you know, when he's in the tank. Yeah, Weapon X. Weapon X, yeah. Yeah, this. I think this is in the beginning of the of that movie when he's escaping the test yeah. facility right right yeah i used to watch this movie on vhs at my grandma's house like all the time it, it was it was the it was the best movie because um what's the call i always liked at the end when like pikachu was trying his hardest and he was getting his butt kicked hey carl they do have um pokey balls though that they, that they sell with sideshow <laughs> So that's about all we're gonna get, man. But but yeah, definitely, man. I appreciate that, Buck. Uh, wanted to show mm -hmm. some 